Hi everyone, Dr. Jima here. Is this a cancerous lesion or a benign lesion? Let's talk about it. This lesion shown in the image here is called keratoacanthoma. This is a spontaneous skin growth with a very characteristic presentation. The exact mechanism leading to this type of skin lesion is not clearly understood or known in the medical community. What we do know is that it manifests itself in the sun exposed areas such as the face, the hands, the back, in less pigmented individuals. We do know that it is associated with certain genetic disorders such as variants of Lynch syndrome. It is also known to be associated with certain chemotherapy drugs. There is some connection with exposure to certain carcinogens such as cigarettes or coal tar pitch. There are some discussions about its connection with uh, human papilloma virus, which is also known as the HPV virus, but the data is not yet certain. There are many variants of keratoacanthoma, but our primary focus will be the solitary type because it's relatively common. Once again, these are typically seen as some exposed areas such as the face, the neck, the hands, the arms. It usually presents as a dome shape, butt shape, or berry shape with a central keratinous plug. This skin lesion actually has um, three phases, the proliferation phase, which is the rapid growth phase. Uh, usually takes about six to eight weeks. The second phase is the maturation phase, which is where the growth actually ceases. And the last phase is the involution phase, which is where this um, tumor or lesion actually spontaneously regresses or shrinks. And this may take about four to six weeks. Overall, the growth of the skin lesion along with its regression may last for several months, in some cases uh, a year or two. With respect to the question I posed earlier, is this a cancerous lesion or a benign lesion? The answer is, it is a benign lesion. If you did get the answer right, smash the like button below. And congratulations for making a very good educated guess. So this is a benign lesion, but the reason why we are overly concerned about this is because it has a similar presentation to a more dangerous skin lesion known as the squamous cell carcinoma which is more concerning lesion because it is cancerous. Because of this, most clinicians that may see keratoacanthoma will perform an excisional biopsy to eliminate any doubt or miss any actual cancerous pathology. Biopsy is the only definitive way of making this diagnosis. And this is exactly what I did as shown here. After performing this excisional biopsy, my concern of keratoacanthoma was actually confirmed and we did not miss any cancerous lesion. And as a result, we eliminated any ambiguity about missing a squamous cell carcinoma. Of all the risk factors we have talked about earlier, the only one that we truly have control over is actually protecting our skin. And you can do so by using sunscreen um, on the sun exposed areas such as the face, the neck, the arm, the hands, the back at all times, especially if you live in very hot areas like we have it now in California. If you have any skin lesions, so that may look like what we just talked about today or any other skin lesion that is of concern to you, it's extremely important that you seek um, some guidance from your primary care provider to make sure you don't miss any important cancerous lesion or whatsoever. It's always better sooner than later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss out on the next video. Dr. Jima, I'm out.